Hello everyone and a warm welcome to the Laithwaite Community Stadium. A beautiful evening here set for Woking against Dagenham and Redbridge. Not the start Woking wanted to the season, albeit very, uh, two very tough fixtures away at Ultram here. Uh, home against Gateshead, uh, which was on Saturday, of course, at uh, 1-0 defeat Ultram. It's 2-0 against Gateshead. Obviously that game was overshadowed by the horrible injury which uh, Greg Olley picked up. It's good to see now he's in a stable condition. He's had his surgery now. He's on the road to recovery, so we wish him all the best but Woking be hoping to put their first three points their first uh, points on board in general this, this season and again very very early days it's only been the third game but Dagen Rebic have started off very well picking up four points from their first two games 2-1 win against Wilson the opening day at home followed by a 1-0 draw against Rochdale on Saturday let's talk you through a lineup started Woking to Michael Dahl has made three changes with Akinola, Gorman and Walker coming to the side for the suspended Kelly Evans Anderson and Kendall. Line from forwards, Will Yaskliner in goal. So back three, Timmy Odesina, Keen Harris and Max Dice. Dan Moss and Jacob Jones are the wing backs. In the, midf uh, in the midfield is Tonji Akinola, Dale Gorman, Jamie Andrews and Harry Butum with Lewis Walker up front. As for Dagon and Redbridge, they make two changes with Vincent and Marias coming to side for Grego Cox and Ling. Unfortunately, Grego Cox is not in the squad at all. It would have been fantastic to see him return to Woking. He would have got a great reception this evening, but not meant to be. So Dagenham's full lineup is Elliot Justin in goal back four of Trent uh, Rendell, uh, Paul uh, Kalambay, uh, Tom Eastman and Frank Vinton. Uh, Jake hessen tyler is a hold midfielder with Josh Rees and Christian and Gesson sitting in front of him. And it's Ryan Hill on the left, Dion Pereira, their star man on loan for Luton on the right and Junior Marais leading the line. Subject benches are as follows. So Wokens is Ollie Weber, Charlie Kendall, Denon Lewis, Matt Ward, Josh Smith, Ben Winter and Jermaine Anderson. As for Dagenham, it is Luca Woodhouse, Harry Fitz, uh, Josh uh, Amera, uh, Shiloh Remy, Dylan Stevenson, Sam Ling and Oscar Rutherford. Uh, joining me this evening is John Moore. John, obviously not exactly the start Woken one to the season with, with two defeats, but very early days now against two top teams, so good chance to get the first three points of ball this evening, albeit against a very tough side in Dagenham. Yeah, good evening, Tom. Good evening, everyone. Yes, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, when I saw the fix just come out, I saw altering away and thought, hmm, going to be hard pressed to get anything out of that. Then Gateshead at home, I thought, hmm, hard pressed to get anything out of that. And it's proved to be the case tonight. No disrespect to Dagenham, but, you know, you do feel that this is the game really where Woking need to pick up some points. Most certainly, but if Dagenham win, seven points for nine, been an excellent start for them. They kick us off here at the Lakefoot Community Stadium. Lovely evening for Woking against Dagenham. Long ball forwards and Eastman flicked on from Reese, followed away from Keen Harris. It's half to Walker back to Gorman. Gorman slices it towards left hand side for Butman to chase the ball down. Here's Rendell. Rendell lifts it just over halfway. Down the inside right channel with diving head away from Max Dyche. Walker chasing it down the left hand side. Putting pressure on Eastman. Eastman on the stretch just to clear it over halfway. And Dyche heads that off the chest of Josh Reese for an early woken throw inside the first 30 seconds. And Dyche. Player, sorry, players to watch out for from Dagenham are obviously Ryan Hill, who's a real live wire. And you already mentioned Pereira, who's on loan from Luton. And I know the Dagenham fans are very excited by what they've seen from him so far. Yeah, most certainly very, very exciting, uh, very, very exciting signing for Dagenham. And speaking of Dagenham, they get themselves a throw. Rendell wouldn't it just behind halfway on the right hand side. Came off Jacob Jones last, a new signing for Woking in the summer. A fair few of them in the lineup this evening. Again, good to see Max Dyche sign permanently as well, along with Timmy Odesina. So, first minute played here at the Lafayette Community Stadium. Lovely weather this evening. And Dagenham right back, Rendell takes the throw down the line. And it's flicked out for another Dagenham throw. Last touch came off the head of Tanji Akinola. It's another throw for Rendell to take. About midway inside the Woken R. So, this one looks like be thrown into the box by the looks of things. Again, Rendell giving the signal to his teammates to push up. So let's see what Dagenham can do, that, do from this throw. Although Ryan Hill looked like for a second he was available for a short option. So it is thrown long from Rendell into the box. Well dealt with by Kian Harris. That's flicked backwards there from Gesson into Rendell. Dagenham midway inside the woken half and Gesson back to Rendell. Now in the centre circle. And the ball is with Elliot Justin. Sent to the Dagenham half. Justin clips it long towards the right hand side. Too far in front of Dion Pereira. And they'll try to get him on the ball as much as possible. <coughs> Two minutes played at Lafayette Community Stadium. 
and Woking persevering with the, the three at the back and the wing backs as we've said lots of times so important that the wing backs push on and, and get forward otherwise you end up you know with five at the back and it creates a, a big gap between the defence and the midfield then makes it very hard to get up the pitch yeah most certainly and again Kevin Burko is such a key wing back at the back end of last season Woking's push for survival goal kick taken flicked on from Moss Walker couldn't get under control played over halfway down left that's a lovely turn from Hill and Hill has won the throw Dick off Odusina last and Hill's certainly a live wire as John alluded to just a minute ago so throw for Dagenham just over halfway in the Woking half Vincent throws it towards the area and Marais felt he's fouled nothing given breaks to Gorman Gorman falls to the ground he doesn't get a free kick Dagenham on the left of Hill good, ta good tackle there with the right foot of Tanji Akinola on the Dagenham throw looking to push Woking back just over three minutes played here at the Lathwaite Community Stadium Vincent is he going to go short with the throw with Hess and Tyler close by Vincent still deciding what to do throws it low towards the box and that's well cleared away by Tanji Akinola with his left boot and it's another throw for Dagenham Again, Vincent to take it. And Dagenham looking to push. Working back early doors. Vincent has the option of Reese down the left. Still waiting to take the throw. Vincent goes the throw, goes towards Hill. Headed away from Akinola. Another throw for Dagenham. Just a continuous series of Dagenham throw-ins at the moment. Vincent has Hill as an inside option. Will he just go down the line again, Vincent? He does go inside to Hill. Hill now turns and back into Vincent. Vincent Hess and Tyler working pressing well now Dagenham back in their own half Compton on the ball here is Paul uh, Callum Bite Justin just edge of his box it's a nice ball from Justin into the feet of Rendell Rendell takes on his chest just over halfway Rendell now just looks behind him here's Nguessen on the ball Hess and Tyler Nguessen nice pass and it will just reach the left hand side maybe I could do it a bit in the end commentator's curse drop but it was kept in play from Hill Hill into the feet of Vincent Dagenham in the attacking third down the left hand side Vincent to Hill Hill puts the low ball in control from Akinola cleared long towards Walker Dagenham getting a good feel of the ball at the moment have it back in their own half Eastman turns and goes to Justin just in front of the D yeah and Woking struggling to get a foot on the ball at the moment it's all Dagenham and it's been a slow start from Woking Randall down line to Pereira Pereira looking to get on the outside of Dyche Pereira gets the cross in easy catch though at the near post of Will Jaskalainen yeah, nice ball down the line from Rendell to Pereira and Pereira just clipped in the cross towards near post but well gathered by Willie Askelainen five minutes played here at the Lafayette Community Stadium very early stages Woking nil Dagnum nil Odessina back here to Askelainen Daisy cut a pass and Jacob Jones couldn't keep him in play with his right foot there I'm not sure really if that's Askelainen Jones's fault anyway it's resulted in a Dagnum throw midway inside the Woking half he didn't really have any options you see because you know Woking are sitting so deep and Dagenham are pushing up there's no one available Marais collects Reynolds throw plays it off to his left just behind him to Vincent now leaves it for Hill Hill holds it up good hold up play here from Hill against Moss and Gessen just the front halfway Andrews pressing on him nice square pass from Gessen now Eastman carry, carrying it forward for Dagenham Eastman midway inside the Woking half Eastman let's fly and it's paid from Jaskalainen and it's a clash there and it's a low poke shot safe from Jaskalainen again and it was two Woken players fall on top of each other it was a Moss and Odessina on the follow up Reese tried to poke it towards goal but denied from Jaskalainen again yeah real mess up team Moss and Odessina from the follow up yeah well of course they let Tom Eastman stride forward nobody closed him down and Jaskalainen did well really I think to push the ball away and then as you say there was panic stations for a minute looking just need to get a f you know just need to have a little bit of possession here's Walker Walker he's fouled he's down the floor here and the referee has given a foul in the end just a raised arm from Rendell and certainly Hess entirely doesn't like that he felt Walker went down a bit too easily just in front of the centre circle and Walker seems to be getting back to his feet in a second so again I completely agree with you John Woking have started off slow and they just need to get that foothold of the ball is at Moss just coming across to this well uh, just come across the sideline talk to Michael Dahl in fact actually you know it's Andrews who's just come across this to have a quick chat the manager seven minutes on the clock and finally Woken have got themselves as the Dagenham territory free kick just in front of the centre circle 
Gorman and Jones behind it. Dale Gorman's competitive home debut in front of the Woken supporters. And Woken's new skipper for the season. As well, sent off at Altrium on the opening day. So referee just checking that everything's fine. Padagno has certainly started off the brighter of the two teams. So Gorman still just waiting to put the free kick in as Ben Shrevens just giving some last instructions to his side before Gorman clips this in. So referee now blows his whistle. Gorman raises his left arm. He's ready to whip it in. Gorman lifts it towards the back post. Moss tries to take it on the stretch. Just got away from him in the end. Got a toe end on it, but not enough to try and hit it across the face of goal. Goal kick to Dagenham. Yeah, nearly a very decent free kick. You know, Gorman is known for his set pieces and it was a decent delivery really yeah, most certainly a big reason why Michael Doyle brought him into the side goal kick from Justin finds Rendell lifts it over Andrews and gets him back to Rendell Rendell plays it back into the Dagenham area Justin first time on his left foot just guys it short to Eastman Eastman to Rendell and guess him what's it inside but Rendell's going to try and go down line just behind halfway Rendell Rendell to Pereira Pereira being pressed it uh, uh, now nice ball into the feet of Pereira it's going to be a throw for Dagenham you can see both of Dagenham's wide men are, are almost sticking to the touchline Pereira over on the right hand side and Hill on the near side to us yeah, that was just Ross Reese uh, controlling the ball by way a moment ago not Pereira and he tried to play it down the line to Pereira but has won the throw so throw here taken from Rendell down the right hand side Reese chasing it down that will be a goal kick to Woking. In nine minutes on the clock, and just Woking needs to try and settle the the best opportunity of uh, half opportunity was that free kick clipping for Gorman and Moss tried to take it on the stretch, but yeah, Dagenham moving the ball much more sharply in these first nine minutes here. Again, Woking had such good home form back in last season, how they love to bring that into this season. Yaskalinen's goal kick sells out of play and was a million miles away from. Going right into the stand where John Nye is situated in. Throw here for Vincent to take just in by the Woking dugout. Vincent takes. Nice control there for Marais right in the middle. Marais plays it back to the centre circle. First time just in front of halfway from Rendell. Out here to Pereira. Pereira drifts and filled. Pereira, lovely work. Now Hill just behind the box. Hill takes the shot on and that one goes out of the ground. Again, really nice intricate build-up play from Dagenham on the right hand side fell for Hill really good position to take it on inside right just behind the box flicked it up onto his right foot but volleyed it out to the ground in the end but certainly Dagenham aren't afraid to have a shot inside these first 10 minutes certainly started off the better of the two teams Yaskalainen's goal kick through the middle to Walker header one from Eastman breaks in the centre circle now it's played square into the feet of Gorman Gorman just beyond halfway, Gorman back to Odessina. Good pressing in from Hill. And there was a foul there on Odessina. Odessina is relieved to see that contact from Hill because again, Woking just looked a bit uncomfortable on the ball. And that Dagenham press on this near side. So a free kick for Yaskline to take. Well, John are just approaching 11th minute and Woking just haven't really got any rhythm going so far. No, they haven't. They look disjointed, they're being driven back. Uh, haven't been any passing moves whatsoever really it's been all a bit kind of hit and hope and at the moment Dagenham are very dominant looking very confident out there free kick from Yasklan cleared away from Vincent it took a touch as well off a Woking man so that will be a throw to Dagenham last touch to calf Moss so a throw for the men in yellow this evening and it just Vincent waiting to receive it I think Ben Shrevens will be very pleased when his side has started. He sensed they can get that goal sooner or later. It was a cracker here last season, by the way. Woken winning by three goals to two. It was a massive game. Woken survival bid. Throw controlled in the chest of Andrews. And now Andrews down the right side. He's tackled from Vincent. Falls it to Gorman. Now Woken trying to win it back on the right side. Reese plays it back and it's cleared long from Callum Bight. Just the front halfway header from Harris down the middle. Walker gets onto control and gives it to Gorman. Gorman tackle from his opposite number, Reese. Here's Hessen Tyler. Hill almost dispossessed from Odessina, but breaks into the feet of Ngessen. 
Gorman just down there now, getting back to his feet. Here's Callum Bay into the feet of Rendell. In Phil to Eastman, just behind halfway. Eastman goes direct down the inside right, and that will break back to Jaskalainen. Last sort of three, four minutes, just a little bit broken up but after Dagenham were really having a good start to the game. Working slowly getting into this, but needs to try and get some rhythm going. A long ball from Harrison. Can't find any of the working forwards. Walker and Butterman were down the inside left, but just went through them like a knife through butter there from that direct ball from the back. It's back with Justin. Now is Rendell. Andrews approaching him. Rendell just behind halfway. Rendell's pass. Finds Morais. Morais in the centre circle. Facing his own half. Back to Ungessen. That's a nice ball from Gesson. Picks out Hill. Controls the ball in step of his right foot. Now drifts in field. Plays it to Pereira. Here is Morais. Morais. Heavy pass to Pereira. Can't get under control. And it's clear the weight from Andrews. Only his fast. Hessen Tyler. Daglin. Can a good foothold again. Here's Rendell. In field. Nice feet here from Pereira. Pereira being pressed here from Jones. But Pereira keeps hold of the ball. Lock and Dagenham maybe send the cross and it goes back to Pereira Dagenham controlling possession well there now it's in Gesson in the centre circle looking out towards the left hand side just taps it into the feet of Callum Bay. just under, under 10 yards into the working half by Callum Bay forwards Vincent chance to get delivery and Vincent's cross and no one was there to turn it in really dangerous from Vincent searching for Joss Reese. just missed that Dagenham non break in the end but again John Moore warning signs from the visitors yeah, most definitely. Neat and tidy football from Dagenham. It's really how they've begun the game. Woking just at the minute can't get going at all. They're not really making any challenges. They're not really getting tight enough or close enough. And they need to push up a bit as well. I think they're playing really, really deep. Goal kick from Jaskalainen. Looking for Moss, who just drifts and filled. Moss heads it up into the air. Now heads it forwards again. Moss just away from Walker though for the middle on the bounce. Eastman lifts it just over halfway. Rice back into Harris and Rice lays it off to his right to Pereira. Pereira now in the attacking third. Inside right Pereira gives it to Hill. Hill just inside the box now being pushed out wide. Heavy touch Mill. Dyche puts the tackle in that came off Hill last I think. No it didn't. Corner kick to Dagenham. Oh, wow, it's the CB there. So the business still on the front foot. Pereira to put the corner in from the right hand side. Dagenham they're smelling blood here there certainly started off the better of the two teams here oh it's Sutton have scored an early goal at Wilson same with South End at home to Boston York also leave Rochelle by a goal to nil corner comes in from the right side well caught there from Yask line now can he hit it forwards quickly just make just make sure that all of his teammates are pushed up then he eventually releases it and his right hand Yask line now Moss on halfway plays it down the right for Harry Buterman Buseman puts in a low cross towards Walker too far away from Walker but finally a bit of an attack intent from Woken just a delivery from Buteman looked like he was never really going to find Walker but good to see Buteman getting forwards yeah and operating down the flank trouble is Woking didn't have any players in the box apart from Walker yeah Buseman certainly didn't have many options as John alluded to then Justin squares it to Eastman Eastman to his partner in crime at the back. Callum Bay now is Justin in the D. Short to Eastman. Eastman just casually moving forward to the ball there. Dagenham still near and half. Right in the centre now. Callum Bay. Short to his left to Vincent. Callum Bay wants it back. Again, Dagenham comfortable the ball at the back. Now it's with Justin. Here's Eastman. Eastman's pass. Pereira just drops behind halfway. Short to Rendell. Rendell over halfway. Cut out from Akinola. Now here's Dyche. Dyche goes direct to Eiffel Walker. Comfortably headed away. And now slides towards Walls Akinola. Here's Jones. Felt he's pushed. Gorman. Now Dyche just behind halfway. Chance for Woken to enjoy some possession. Odessina just over halfway to Moss. Back to Odessina. Right footed short to Gorman. Odessina on the ball again. That's with Jaskalainen. Harris. Back to Yaslina. Odessina calling for it. Odessina receives it. Dagenham pressing high here. Odessina finds Gorman. We're pressing here from the visitor still. Oh. And Odessina sliced out of play. And again, Dagenham really are 
suffocating Woken at times when they're passing it around the back and hear the thud of the ball on the top of San John. It's, they it's look very shaky, the ball there, Woken. Yeah, it's far too slow. There's no one making themselves available. There's no one running off the ball. You know, it's predictable, and Dagenham are all over Woking. Both Tess and Tyler touch it into the box. Has Tyler ball just get away from him? Did a touch call for Woken Man Harris? No, it didn't. Here's a goal kick to Dagenham. At the minute, Woking are just sitting off Dagenham. You know, they're letting Dagenham just pass the ball around. It's almost like Woking have got ten men. You know, Dagenham always seem to have a man over. But it's still nil-nil. And we all know that goals change games. And the main thing is, at least if Woking can not concede. And at least if they can keep 11 men on the pitch as well, would help. Here's Hill, back into Olsina, just in front of halfway. Now it's a free kick to Dagenham. Just a little push there from Odyssey on Hill. And positives as well. There's a full bench this evening for Woking, which is good. It's certainly good to see. Hessen Tyler takes a free kick diagonally, can't find Rendell. Now Jones heads it into Andrews. Andrews forwards to Walker. Butman inside the centre circle. And the flag goes up there against Woking. And just you think they're about to maybe build something. Yeah, the flag goes up and halts that free kick here for but you Dagenham. see again when Buterman got it there was not a Woking player within what 10 yards of him and that's the problem he's a bit disjointed when Woking do try and get it forwards and they've just seen those lack of options well and also there the feels a bit of a lack of pace about this Woking side at the moment you know whereas Dagenham have got the likes of Hill and Pereira, Woking haven't really got anyone out there with, you know, some pace. So, as we know, that can cause problems for teams. Hessen Tile on the ball, just in front of halfway, down the right-hand side for Reese to chase. Dyche holding off Reese by the corner flag. Dyche turns and clears with his left foot, and as far as Rendell flicks it behind him. Walker can't get to that. It's back in the centre circle. Callum Bight. Now Vincent on the ball, just in front of halfway. Goes back to Callum Bight. Callum Bight to Vincent, still in halfway. Vincent back to Callum by again. Dagenham just all the time in the world on the ball. Think Michael Dahl telling his team to push up. He's not looking best pleased at all. The way Sider has started. Justin. Short to Callum by. Vincent calling for it. Callum by though goes from guessing. I guess it'd be Naras and Akinola, but go square to Vincent. Back to Callum by and again. Time on the ball for Callum by. Cross to Eastman. That's a bit better from Woking though. Playing a higher line and you know, I know people bang on about the press, but at least they did try and engage Dagenham, you know, in their third. It's certainly a bit more promising from Woking. Still Dagenham preserving it well. Ball inside Tessentala for Eastman. Eastman plays about Tessentala now. Andrews getting closer to Eastman. Eastman's still comfortable on the ball. Gives it to Justin. Justin clips it with his right foot. Headed forward to Akinola. Ball still inside the Dagenham half now. Eastman goes long towards Marais. And Yaskalainen comes outside of his area. And clears where it is left foot, slices it out of the ground. And can Yaskalainen look a bit look pretty confident just to keep that in play, that clearance, but made a bit of a mess of that that working goalkeeper. And again, that goal kick he had about ten minutes ago where he hit it into a San John Lyra and again a couple of poor kicks from Yaskalainen this evening. Throw to Dagenham on the right hand side and again Dagenham just looking very confident on the ball but a little bit more pressing from Woking but even then Dagenham still moving it about really well just over t uh, 20 minutes played it at Layfleet Community Stadium deadlock yet to be broken Dagenham certainly looking the more likely to do it Reynolds stroke and from Pereira edge of the box now turns looks to try and get a cross in still Pereira on the ball Pereira stabs it towards the centre headed it away from Akinola and then Woking can clear through Andrews inside the deep lifts it towards the right hand side Walker chasing it on the bounce that did come off Vincent last so now Woking could try and push up the pitch Gorman takes the quick throw towards Walker. Now Walker, right side of the box. Walker gets beyond Justin, goes down to the ground. And the referee doesn't point to the spot, I have to admit. First glance, I didn't think the referee was going to give a penalty there. Just has Walker to get up, and it's a goal kick to Dagenham. Yeah, he kind of <laughs> almost lost control of the ball and, and then went down, I, I, I would say. But, you know, it was enterprising. At least he managed to get in behind them. Yeah, first time this evening. Walker's managed to do that really and Callum by short to Justin. And Justin just walks the ball out of his box. We go long, we just 
There you go for an option, and Gesson make himself available, but Justin tries to go direct, hits it low in the end. Pereira collects it just behind halfway. Here's Rendell, back to Pereira. Now Woken pushing a bit higher up. Eastman's in possession, just in front of him is Gesson. Nice pass through, through Woken press to Vincent. Vincent for the middle, it's an excellent sliding interception from Odusina. Gorman caught on the ball, but breaks here to Odusina. Square to Moss. Back to Odessina. Gorman just crouching down at the moment. Just felt a bit of force and tackle that was trying to put on him. Now Dyche to Jones. Here's Buterman. Now Dyche lifts it just towards the halfway line. Woken up in fan ball against Vincent. Nothing given, but Moss has it. Moss back to Odessina. And the referee does award a free kick in Woken's favour. Again, without really testing Dagenham too much. Woken are slowly getting into this now. Slowly, I think, being the operative word. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> but I keep saying they haven't conceded. 23 minutes have gone by. And, you know, maybe they're growing into the game. But certainly it's been a very, very slow start from Woking. And, as I say, they seem to lack pace out there. And Yaskalai, me, and direct free kick, flicked on from Walker, Beutzman controls in the box, Beutzman shot, scuffed, and Justin gets down to it. Funny, a real world threat there from Woken, but Beutzman just scuffed that low shot, and it was pretty easy for Justin in the end. Yeah, it was definitely half a chance, and I expect to be disappointed, really, he didn't get a better connection on it. Justin, oh, one or two moments for Woking. Justin outside his area, nice clip ball to Hill, collects it just the front halfway, taken on his chest. Hill plays it back. Time here for Callum Bay. Oh, Callum Bay turns it just goes to the safe option back to Justin. I'm guessing calling for it, but Justin goes to Vincent, who's in much more space. Vincent just over halfway. Back to him, Gesson. Now there's more room for Gesson to have on the ball there. And Gesson slowly moving forwards. Beatman just behind him. And Gesson goes square. Now back into the feet of Eastman. Eastman towards the centre. Nice ball forward to Marais towards the box and re trying to control it. Dyche gets his body across. Back to Yaskalainen and, and clears his lines well. Will go out of play, but Yaskalainen did well there, the clearance. Let's get that one away quickly. And Dagnamar struggling to get Marais into the game. Similar as Woken are struggling to get Walker. So, yeah, not much joy for the strikers so far. Throw for Dagenham. Rendell to take just behind halfway. Woken nil, Dagenham nil. Just approaching that 25th minute here. A lovely evening here in Surrey. Throw taken from Rendell. Hessenthal lets it run across his body. Now Vincent over halfway. Vincent, low, uh, high cross in, headed away. Left from Dyche. Now Buterman. Poke forward from Jones. Too far away from Buterman though. And Dagenham had the throw just the front halfway. Very quickly taken from McGesson. Here's Eastman. Hessen Tyler. Eastman on the ball again. Now Hessen Tyler. Square for Cullen Bay. Short pass from Justin to Eastman. Hessen Tyler receives it. On half turn. Hessen Tyler makes a bit of a mess of that. Now Walker dispossesses him. Here's Akinola in the centre circle. Akinola. Short to Gorman. Gorman. Now out here to Moss. Moss turns and plays it back inside to Gorman. Gorman just about keeps hold of the ball in a rasp from Marais Gorman back on halfway to Odessina now Kean Harris Harris goes direct search for Jones Head, headed away from Rendell now time the ball for Pereira just behind halfway Pereira Hill ordering the ball to be whipped out towards the left hand side Pereira looks for Hill Hill in the chase of Odessina Odessina collects that on the byline really good work there from Odessina and uh, Odessina plays it forward towards Buterman now Walker just nicks in front of Callum Bay and referee simulating that is a Dagenham throw great work as you said Tom from Odessina Look cool calm and collected he just has that bit of pace doesn't he which he uses to good effect Not quite sure what's going on here a bit of confusion it's a free kick making Barnum to Dagenham just in front of halfway and you know, Woken fans not best please but yeah as you're saying John a bit amused what's going on Vincent plays it back now to Justin. Here's Eastman. Long diagonal. Looking for Hill. Just too far in front of Hill, though. And that 
It's a throw to Woking. 27 minutes on the clock here at the Lafayette Community Stadium. Woking nil, Dagenham and Redbridge nil. Woking really need to get any flow in their game. Dagenham has certainly had the better of the opportunity so far. Throw from Moss. Flicked on from Walker. Can't find out Beatman. Cannon by heads up in the air. Now flick from Gesson. Bounce in the centre. Well, Heston Tyler. Has Tyler back here to Rendell. Here's Eastman. Eastman finds Vincent. Tying the ball for Vincent. Vincent just over halfway. Now to Hill. Vincent making that run in behind, but Hill moving back towards the Dagenham half and gives it to Callum Bay. That's with Justin in his area. Now Justin, a couple of touches, just has time to move it more into the centre of the Dagenham half and plays it short to Vincent. Vincent. That's the inside left of Reese. Reese back to Hill. Uh, Odessina pressing on him along with Andrews and it is a free kick to Dagenham. Slight contact from Odessina there. Yeah, but I don't mind that. At least Woking are getting in their faces a little bit more, not giving them as much time to just ping the ball about willy-nilly, which is what they were doing for the first 15, 20 minutes. Certainly, Woking have got a little bit more aggressive as this first half has gone on. Free kick here for Hessen Tyler to take. That level with the centre circle in the Woking half. And the referee just blows his whistle, just coming across just to check that everything's fine I think just talking to Dyche and Rendell oh Hessen Tyler takes his free kick has Hill as a short option Hessen Tyler I think he will clip, clip this one towards the likes of Rendell and Cohen now Hessen Tyler raises his left arm drills it on his right foot towards the far side headed away there to Buterman from Moss and that will be a throw to Woken Nice just coming across towards the far side. Just talked through the latest scores in National League. Have goals in. So Eastley 2 up against Solio Moors. South End 1, Boston 0. Bit of concern here for Woking by way. Will Yaskalainen's gone down. I think he will need treatment. So that is concerning. Just to give the other scores by way. Have goals in the National League. Wilson 0. Uh, Sutton 1. Yeovil 1. Evsleet 0. And York 1. Rochdale 0. So Yaskalainen needing treatment here. Let's hope it's nothing serious. Ollie Weber brought in over the summer. He's waiting in the wings if Yaskalina is unable to continue. But I think this is much needed for Michael Dahl, John, just to bring his players to the side and try and just tell them where they have been going wrong this first half. Albeit they've got slightly better, but yeah, really have to emphasize slightly. Yeah, I mean, they have. And at least they haven't conceded. Um, and. Um, when you think about it, Jaskalainen's had, what, a couple of saves to make. Um, and for all the possession that Dagenham have had, they haven't really, as I say, forced Jaskalainen into a lot of action. And that will disappoint the Dagenham manager, I'm sure, because, you know, when you're on top, although it's a cliche, you, you, you need to score. And they haven't done that, even though they've looked very pretty on the eye. And obviously the likes of Hill and Pereira look impressive and as I keep saying both of them play wide so they have the effect of not letting Woking's wing backs get forward so Woking are playing with five at the back really and then throw in the other midfield player uh, Akinola who sits in front you've got six playing at the back so you haven't got that many outfield players in forward areas and, and that is the problem for Woking or has been and they're struggling to take the wing backs into the game to a pack underway Yasline looks fine to carry on Dagenham Head away, Woken Story. Here's Hessen Tyler. Flip from Rendell. Volley force and Dyche. And that will go towards the Dagenham Sports. In fact, this uh, another ball that looks to have gone out the ground. And, and Gesson. Ball's just about to be thrown to Gesson. It's now Vincent. Gives it Hessen Tyler now. Eventually reaches the right hand side for Rendell to pick up the ball. And then you take the throw for Dagenham. Looking for Marais. Marais trying to turn away from Odessina. Odessina, probably been Woken's best by this half. Wins it back. Odessina, great work, great drilling from Timmy Odessina there, bursting over halfway, here's Timmy Odessina, Odessina looks to be brought down from Rendell, nothing good for the referee, so now Dagnum can look to come forwards here, with Odessina out of position, Moss covering, and guessing down the inside left, on his outside to Hill, Hill now, looks for Vincent, finds him Vincent's cross block from Akinola, that's a good challenge there, on Hill, and... We'll and that was great work from Odessina. I was just saying, you know, Woking lack bodies going forward, and that's what you want. One of your centre halves, who's capable of coming out with the ball, doing exactly that. 
Otherwise, as I say, from an attacking perspective, you know, Woking have only got Butiman, Walker and Gorman. Good take from Dagenham. Vincent Hill trying to combine. Tackle there from Moss and Butiman hits off and Gesson. Butiman heads it down. Flip forwards and Gorman. And Walker just comes off his chest midway inside Woking's half. Again, pretty broken up game, I'd say, the last 10 minutes or so. No side really getting any flow, but okay, Woking certainly needs up it and try and get their fans a bit more into the game. Vincent's throw intercepted from Akinola. Gorman just clears it. No one near finding Walker. And really just at the clearance and Walker, uh, Gorman in the end. It's back here now with Dagenham. Eastman over halfway. Touch it from Pereira. Back in his own half. Pereira to Justin. Callum Bailly is an option made for Justin to go for, but Justin finds Pereira instead. Facing Eastman and goes back to him. Eastman now clips it down the inside right channel. Comfortable header for Keen Harris towards Dyche. Dyche slams it down left hand side. Now control from Walker on halfway. Walker plays it back to Akinola. Bit of space for Tonji Akinola. Marais just behind him. Akinola now clips it forwards to Moss. Moss in line with the error. Moss will get to it. Moss chops it inside. Moss has Gorman on the line. The error. Gorman's cross balls back post too heavy. And it's too heavy as well for Jones to try and collect on the far side. Really good crossing opportunity there to get a perfect ball in, John. But Gorman just didn't have it. Yeah, such a shame. And, you know, for the first time this evening, Moss got forward. And you can see what a difference it made. And I certainly, Gorman just didn't get that cross right thing is though again you know crossing the ball from out wide who have Woking got with any height in the box they haven't got you know a big forward unfortunately throw from Dagenham flicked on and will be a Woking throw Harry Butemet Sutton did score a few headed goals but have to make yeah anyone real height and presence I do agree John it's it's hard for a Woking player and they look in the box there isn't too many options all like I think Gorman should have done better yeah with should. that delivery so throw here for Woking Dyche takes it. Walker inside left controls and the attacking third. Prayer puts in the tackle. Breaks here for Hess and Tyler. Clears it towards the right hand side. Volley back to the Dagenham half from Harris. That's well headed away from Eastman for a Woken throw. Now can Woken just push Dagenham back for the last 10 minutes of this first half and can just try and get the crowd a little more into this game. Well, you saw the lift it gave the crowd, but on the scene and went on that run. Yeah. That was a brilliant attempt there for Olesina. Just lost his balance though. And now it's Keen Harris from the short throw back and long ball to Moss. And Moss heads it down. Shot from Buterman. And Justin gets down to it. That's better from Woking again. Moss pushed up high. Flicked it on to Buterman. Buterman shot on target but Justin gathered. Now Hill volleys forwards and Justin picking him out. But it's back here with Woking. Keen Harris. So 10 minutes in this first half to go. Woking nil, Dagenham nil. Akinola turns in the centre circle. Quickly hit Force and Dyche to Andrews. Andrews down the left. Here's Jones. And the flag goes up against Woking. It's a frustration of the crowd. They were actually building it quite nicely. It's a real shame the flag went up, but a little bit more like it now from Woking. Again, that direct ball towards Moss headed down for Beatman. That's a couple of times Beatman's gotten some good positions in the box, which is what he was so well known for at Sutton. Yeah, definitely. And you can see what a difference it makes if you know you can get your wing backs or at least one of them forward. Starting to ask some questions of the opposition. So free kick here for Dagenham. Just under ten minutes his first after play, Woking nil. Dagenham nil hit the Lathwaite Community Stadium. It's long from Justin. Flicked on there from Reese. Offside flag up against the Dagenham right back. Trent Rendell. And I'm not sure whether Dagenham have slightly taken their foot off the gas or whether Woking have upped it a bit. But certainly, you know, Dagenham are not playing with that freedom that they started the game with. Yeah, well, for straight, Ben Strevens had a really good foothold in this game, Dagenham, but now feels a lot more even. Nothing really much happening. Last sort of 10 50 minutes, so that was a good half opportunity for Beatsman. Just a couple of minutes going on. Yaskalainen's free kick can't find Walker headed away from Eastman. Headed back into Dagenham half by Dyche. Good feet here from Walker. Square to Jones. Jones down the left hand side to Andrews. Andrews trying to get around Hess and Tyler. Has Tyler by the corner flag. Andrews just keep it in play, but Hess and Tyler turns and clears it towards Marais. 
Better one there from Harris, went through the back of Marais, but falls into Pereira. Nice touch from Vincent in the centre circle to get away from Moss. Now space for Vincent in the middle. Woke well, we need to get everyone back and they get back in their shape. Vincent still in the middle, controls it well. Now gives it to Hill. Hill through the legs of Moss. Hill, edge of the box. It just runs into trouble and that's a really good defending there from Odusina. Gets his body across and wins the free kick for his side. Yeah, he read the situation really well because, you know, Hill had got past Moss. But he spotted the danger and came across as a working a free kick. And he was a cracking signing, Odessina, I think. Oh, most certainly. For me, in the survivor run last season, certainly the, the best player at the back. And it's a ball from Yasmin Force headed away. Can I buy now? It's Reese out here to Hill. Hill looking to get round Odessina. Hill goes down to the ground and cleared out the box from Akinola. Hill's certainly a dangerous player though. So very good work there from Akinolo to clear it out for a Dagenham throw. Vincent, short to Hill. Gorman trying to get it off him. Leads to Vincent. Gorman fighting to keep the ball, puts a good tackle in. Now Moss is pulled to the ground there. Just in front of us, and that is a free kick. For sure for Woken. Vincent just had to stop Moss from getting away. And Vincent shakes his head and walks away but yeah certainly Vincent wrestling Moss to the ground there yeah well it's good to see the referee you know not producing a card I can think of other referees who would have done yeah I have to agree I, I didn't see that as a yellow card just again I, th I think if I was in Vincent's position I'd certainly be doing the same thing to try and stop Moss getting down the flank but yeah, certainly a free kick fair play to the referee you know he's tried to let the game flow at times he hasn't been whistle happy no, Gordon perhaps wouldn't agree <laughs> felt a few times he's been on the wrong end of some decisions but as I say that's what I like to see no card free kick for Njaskalainen towards the inside left headed away from Eastman now truck control for Marais in the centre of the Dagenham half now Marais forwards it to Hill Hill has the pace to get onto it Hill inside left facing up Moss Hill looks to cut side the tackle there and it was actually Andrews who put the tackle in and then cleared away from Jones it was an excellent tackle from Andrews Big on and getting back to put the challenge in. Yeah, he did Top really, hill cut inside. Yeah, he did really well to match him, really. Make sure he didn't get any space to produce some trickery. So throw here, level with the penalty area for Vincent to take. Vincent has Reese close by. Just Tustin Moss, and now Reese controls it. Head of Moss from Vincent's throw. Vincent has it back. Vincent. Drifting into the box. Vincent. And still up here from Moss. Now plays it short to Hessen Tyler. Dagenham, edge of the box on the left-hand side. Hill, short forward pass to Vincent. Vincent gets the cross in, but out of play in the end. Hit the side net in. That's delivery that Vincent wants there at all. Yeah, that's kind of some Dagenham's performance up, really, for the last 15 minutes or so. You know, they've been very careless, I think, at times in possession. They started the game so well with that crisp passing and movement. Played Woking off the park, really. And you sense it was only going to be a matter of time before they scored. Yeah, and Woking really need to try and assert their dominance on this game. And well, they need to try and get to half time without yeah. conceding. <laughs> That'll be a start for sure. And Callum Bay heads away the goal kick. Bounce here to Odessina. Odessina's header. Gorman pushed it back to Odessina. Lifts it just over halfway towards Butman in the centre circle. Headed down for Eastman. Akinola gets to it. And Akinola felt he's pushed by Acom. Woken in Andrews. Andrews tackled from Rendell. And that will be a free kick to Woken. And a yellow card for Rendell. And uh, without a doubt, I think that was certainly a, a, a yellow card challenge there. Yeah. Can't have any complaints about that. He was late. Caught the player. But, you know, fair play to Woking. Didn't start well at all, looked terribly disjointed, didn't really seem to know who was who for a minute. But, you know, they've slowly but surely eased their way back into the game, haven't they? Yeah, most certainly. I think Michael Dorr will be satisfied with the way they've slowly grown to this game. Just, in, just need to try and create some chances now. Yeah, you've got to remember, you know, working in the home team. And uh, need to take the game more to Dagenham if they can. Yeah, most certainly and free kick here for Woken State just in front of halfway it will be Gorman the skipper to take it three minutes of the half to go 
Can the deadlock be broken here? Gorman lifts it up towards Dyche. Dyche has it down for second. Oh, look at a shot be taken and it's been cleared out of the six yard box. And Callum Bai, right place, right time. Callum Bai is Dyche was trying to get a shot away, but certainly Woken's best moments have come from when they've hit those direct balls towards the box and set pieces. Throw here for Woken. Let's try and continue the pressure. Throw taken from Moss. Sees it back. Now it's Odessina, just the front of halfway. Odessina now back into the Woken after Keen Harris. Harris looks to try and spray it to Jones. Will he find Jones? Jones chasing it down against Rendell. Jones gets it by the corner flag and Rendell puts the tackle in. That is a throw to Woken. Great ball though, wasn't it? That was excellent distribution. Keen Harris sitting in the middle of the back three. So a throw level with a penalty error for Jones to take. Jones has Beatman close by. Two minutes this first half to go. Throw to Beatman. He's Beatman to Gorman. Gorman lifts it up towards Walker. Walk on the stretch, trying to get headed towards goal off target in the end. Just took a slight flick off side of Walker's head, but yeah, well wide and goal kick to Dagenham Redbridge. And Lewis Walker certainly had a tough first half, but just for a second it was an inviting looking ball hit towards him. It just was a bit off balance. Lewis Walker in the end. Tries to stretch all the way to try and head that on target. Well, he's had so little to feed off Walker. You know, he's playing really up front on his own. I know Butyman is up there too, but, you know, neither of them are the biggest. <laughs> neither of them yeah. are the most physical. Um, and it's been a tough half for them both. Goal kick from Justin. Yeah, they really need more support. And a forward to Moss. Callum Bay lifts it. Towards the centre to Marais. Headed away from Harris. Down the centre circle. Square header from Andrews with Jones chasing it down. Just too far away from Jones though. Throw for Rendell in the last minute. Normal time in this first half. Rendell takes it. Cleared away from Keane Harris. And that will be another Dagenham throw. I mean maybe the plan from the manager is to keep it tight. And then maybe try and unleash more attack minded players in the second half because they've definitely got them on the bench with Kendall, Lewis, Ward, Anderson. And that'll be a free kick there to Dagenham. It's a long ball forwards from Eastman. And just a, a tussle going on between Dyche and Reese and Reese won that battle just holding off Dyche and yeah, Dyche was pulling the shirt so a free kick to Dagenham back midway inside the Woken half inside right. Dion Pereira behind it. Just the man you want behind the free kick see if he can put a quality delivery into the area it's so important that Woking see it out to half time without conceding concentration yeah, well, certainly give them a good platform going into the second half so reached at 45th minute now free kick to Dagenham as we enter first half stoppage time Dion Pereira now sets lift it in so couldn't quite catch how many minutes added on time no nor me and Pereira now lifts it towards the back post, goes through everyone, and that is a goal kick to Woken. Yeah, I couldn't catch what was on the. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see there. it either. Yeah. Didn't swing it round enough, did he? No, he did not. I gather it's certainly not much time. Probably you know, a couple of minutes, maybe. Nask so, line now, Just waiting to take this goal kick. Is there one last chance in this first half for Woken? So left foot to ball forwards and Yask line and flicked on from Walker. Controlled it from Hess and Tyler. Long towards Hill. Hill chasing down against Olesina. Clears it away for Dagenham throat. Oh, was it? A young spectator just gets the ball and gives it to Vincent. So two minutes and we're halfway through those two minutes now. Finally confirmed. Vincent takes the throw. Here's and guessing. Vincent did, has it back. How did Charlie know? He must have guessed. <laughs> I, I did guess a couple of minutes as got that one right but it's a pretty easy guess to make to be honest and Eastman over halfway to Pereira so Dagenham on the front for here Pereira out here to Vincent Vincent that's the overlapping run of Hill Vincent stretched and tried to put the cross and loses his balance but tackle from Moss falls to Hill good work here and now it's Hill back into the feet of Callum Bay. Justin to Eastman 15 seconds to go this first half, Eastman up towards Marais, dealt with comfortably by Harris. Pereira 
Pereira touched it past Gorman, but Gorman keeps up them now. Pereira, edge of the box, can Pereira get the cross in? Doubled off on by Jones as well. Plays it back to Rendell. Reynolds delivery, nodded away from Dyche. Andrews flicks on towards Walker and it is half time here the Laithwaite Community Stadium goalless between Woken and Dagenham going into the break Dagenham started off the much better of the two teams had an early shot from Eastman which is parried out and then on the follow up after a mix up between two Woken defenders in Moss and Olesina Reese's shot was denied by Yaskline as well probably Woken's best moment was a direct ball hit towards Moss flicked it on the edge of the box and Butesman right side of the box hit the low shot Company gather from Justin, but again, Woken slowly did grow in staff. And by the way, just confirm attendance at 2,103 fans here this evening. 172 Dagenham fans making the trip here. Well, so far, low spectators been treated to half. John, where it's been, it's been quite a tight half, and not overly too much has happened. No, it hasn't. I think Woking started really slowly, seemed to struggle for a long time. Dagenham had a lot of possession, didn't really make the most of it. And, you know, slowly but surely, Woking worked their way back into the game, but without looking threatening at all. Certainly second half, you know, Woking need to up the pace, up the tempo. I think it's been very, very slow. Got to try and get your wing backs forward. Otherwise, as I say, you're playing with six, seven players behind the ball. You know, Woking are at home, need to try and score goals. So, anyway, at least it's nil nil. That's the main thing. Exactly, a platform to build on going, going into the second half. And half time here at the Layfake Community Stadium. It is Woking nil. Dagen Mill join us soon for a second half action here. Hello everyone and a warm welcome back here to the Lathwaite Community Stadium. The first half was a pretty uh, uneventful affair between Woking and Dagenham. Dagenham started off the better but Woking nullified the threat and had a few better moments their own playing those direct ball forward and probably the best chance for Woking came from Harry Beesman. But John, probably want to see a bit more from Woking, especially being the home side this second half. Yeah, most definitely. Um, as I said, he has got some attacking options on the bench with Kendall, Lewis, Ward and Anderson. So maybe the plan was to try and keep it tight, not concede. And then in the second half, you know, around the 60 minute mark, go for it a bit more. I see that is the case, but certainly the nullified prayer well probably Hill's been slightly more threatening of those two wide men for Dagenham but yeah, both the strikers in this match Walker and Marais really yet to get into it but hey things will open up now a bit more this second half of Woking shooting right to left ready to get us underway Jamie Andrews to kick us off just wait for the referee now to blow his whistle and I would have thought you know from a Dagenham perspective Ben Strevens will be annoyed quite frankly given the way they started the game and given the way they finished the, set of the first half, you know, it started so well. Uh, Harris goes along straight away, well dealt with there from Dagenham defence. Odyssey just behind halfway, plays it in the centre circle, ball lifted out towards Jones, headed down from Rendell. Here's Pereira, Pereira down the line, Marais has the pace to get onto it. Marais now, on the right hand side, just loads it up, Marais needs support, goes back to Rendell. 
Rendell looks away back towards Myers, Panthers back towards him, and now it is Woke on the ball here with Andrews. Andrews into the centre circle to beat him, back towards Andrews, too far in front of him, and now Rendell to Pereira in the centre circle with Ngessen. Square here to Vincent. Vincent back here to Callum Bay. Plays it just over halfway. Lovely turn there from Hill. Well, I thought Hill was going to get away from Odyssey and it just got away from Hill in the end. And that's a throw to Woken. It was just approaching the first minute of this second half and Odyssey throws it back to Keen Harris. Here's Yaskalan. Short to Dyche. Woken just inside their area. Dyche plays on the outside of Pereira. Andrews being pressed there from Hezen Tyler. Back towards Dyche. Dyche long down the left hand side. And it's a touch back from Eastman. Thought he just miscontrolled it for a second, but got enough of a touch on it for it to go back to his goalkeeper, Justin. Justin just hits off the ground. Nice pass over halfway to Hill. Odesina, did he foul Hill there? The referee does points his right. So free kick to Dagenham. Certainly Dagenham looking to start the second half the way they started the first. And try and get Yaskline into action. Of course, Yaskline made the double save early on in the match. Route. Shot from Eastman and then mess up to Moss and Odesina. Got each other's way and that present the opportunity for Reese to poke towards goal and Yaskalan and deny Reese. But really, since then, Yaskalan hasn't really had to make any big saves. By the way, it's actually just, just a throw to Dagenham, just the front of halfway on the far side. Throw from Vincent. Cleared away by Woken. Hessen Tyler on the chest, clips it. Just back to Eastman, who just ducks for a second, then collects the ball. Time here for Eastman. Eastman, short to Hessen Tyler. Hessen Tyler. Callum Bay, first time to Vincent. Hill down the line. Search for Reese. But good pace there for Akinola. Gets there first. And Akinola turns and hits that off Reese. And it will be a throw to Woken. Just by the corner flag. And John will be hoping to get Walker more into the game in the second half because he was really feeding off scraps in the first. Yeah, well, it, as I say, it's a problem, isn't it? If the wing backs don't get forward, you haven't really got that many attacking players in the opposition's half I mean you know Woking were reliant as an attacking threat on on just Butiman Gorman and um, and Walker that's it everybody else was in, in the Woking half throw a take from Woking and Butiman can't turn the ball and drive it forwards it's now Callum Bay Callum Bay hits it off a red and white shirt and that will be throw to Dagenham just inside the Woking half for Vincent to take on the far side. Vincent go down line. He has, a, he has an inside option of Ngessen. I think he will go down that left side. Traps from Hill. Hill. Looks like back on the outside now. It's throw to Woken. One from Moss. Hitting off the heel of Ngessen. And Moss now. Kenny will probably go direct down that side to Walker. Does have Butiman just standing behind him as well, Walker, so we can flick this one on. And he can't flick it on, but it just falls to Walker in the end. Now ball from Gorman, look of a Butiman, but easily intercepted from Eastman. Eastman towards the centre circle, control from Pereira, good tackle there from Gorman on Pereira to get possession back for Woken. Gorman just behind halfway, four minutes played the second half, and Gorman wins a free kick. Really good tackle there from Gorman. Again, he's got a lead by example this season. Yeah, and he's been in the wars, hasn't he, this game? couple of knocks and he's been down he's a kind of terrier like player isn't he Gorman really gets around hustles yeah, very unsurprising that he was named captain obviously didn't get the start he wanted being sent off in that defeat at Altrium and certainly I think Barnett fans were quite surprised and a bit disappointed that he he's still not with them so a free kick for Will, Will Yaskalan to take on the far side, just behind halfway, left footed, up towards Dyche. Dyche can't win the header against Eastman, but not out of the box yet. Flicked from Keen Harris, controlled here from Akinola, gets away from the end, clearance and Gesson. Breaks here now, and a forward ball into the feet of Hill. Now Dagenham can break, it was a nice pass from Reese to Hill. Now Hill, down that left hand side. Hill has Vincent on his outside. Hill goes forwards towards the box and intercepted. Now Akinola clears. Only as far as Hessenthaler, just the front. Of the centre circle now, and Gesson picks out Eastman. Eastman out here to Pereira. 
Pereira, edge of the box, Dion Pereira. And that's just a poor touch back to Wartill in the end from Reese. And now Woken could try and break Andrews to Walker. Woken still inside their own half and Walker fired deflection. Does manage to play it off to his right to Moss. Now Moss to Andrews. Andrews was I think he's fouled. Nothing given from the referee. Now Dagenham can attack down the left-hand side. And to end stuff, it ball slipped through to Wartill. Intercepted. Well read there from Odyssey. has certainly been Woken's best player, in my opinion, this evening. And Odyssey hits off Hill for a throw to Woken. Yeah, he's been class out there, hasn't he? He really has. He's read everything brilliantly. And yeah, Woken fans were annoyed. They felt that was should have been a free kick on Andrews, but didn't get that in his favour, Andrews. And Dagenham looking dangerous on the counter-attack, but Odyssey read the run really well. Intercepted, and now Woken have got a throw to take. Kian Harris has the ball, just a couple of bounces before... Takes his throw on the far side for the cards. Harris takes the throw now. Flick on one. And now Andrews in the centre. Will Andrews tackle from Rendell? Andrews plays it through the middle. Now, play through the middle now. Intercepted there from Dyche. And that's a free kick there. Hess and Tyler with the foul on halfway on Jones. A bit of back and forth there between Jones and Hess and Tyler. Don't know why Hess and Tyler is getting cross with Jones it was a free kick simple as that what's the problem yeah, not exactly short was said but yeah, it's died down quickly between the pair happens on the football pitch all the time now Kian Harris take the free kick for Woken down left hand side looking for Jones too far in front of Jones though waste of a free kick there uh, goal kick to Dagenham shame would have been the first time Jones had got forward I think in the entire game yeah, I have to say Jones yeah, it's got forward even less than, than Moss. It's been frustrating. Just updating some scores in National League that have got out of goals. And then Braintree 0, Aldershot 1, Eastley 2, Solly 0, Halifax 1, Gateshead 1, Maynard 0, Altrin 1, Oldham 0, Files 1. Now Dagenham play it out from the back. Here's Nguessen to Rendell. Takes on the chest. Now Pereira. It's a lovely turn from Pereira against Akinola. Pereira race over halfway through the middle. Here's Dion Pereira. Left footed. Plays out towards Hill. Good sliding interception there from Moss. Then played out the box and Harris. Gorman into the feet of Moss. Now Butiman. Just behind halfway on the right hand side and could tackle there from Gessen. And his right foot does concede the throw, but gets a round of applause from his, from his fans. And Gessen, good work to get it off Butman. Throw for Woken to take. That was a sharp turn though from Pereira, showing what he's all about. Throw from Woken now is Moss to Olesina. Up towards Walker, down the right hand side. Headed down there from Callum Bay. It's back here with Callum Bay now. Here is Justin to his right to Eastman. Rendell wants a bit. Eastman plays it through the centre to Prayer and lovely turn for Prayer. Really getting into the second half now. Prayer a bit too long towards Marais, but still Yaskalainen has to come out of his box and clear away. But Prayer now looking really sharp. Last couple of minutes. Yeah, he's kind of dropped back a little bit. Low ball into the box. Marais left side the area now on his outside cross in from Vincent headed towards goal just wide from Reese thought I was going in for a split second actually went well away from the target in the end kept in play and Jones clears it now Eastman hits it back towards the Woken area but again Woken deal it again Dyche's clearance flicked on there from Andrews header from Rendell header from Dyche over halfway and Rendell knocks out for a throw but a yeah, good run from Reese at near post his header went wide and certainly that's the movement that Ben Shrevens won't see from his players going into the box but Reese just couldn't quite Test Yaskalainen again Pereira certainly now getting into the swing of things the second half that's, war that's certainly one of the signs of Woken Dyche with a throw headed away from Rendell Dyche heads it forwards again Walker can't flick it on lift it up into the air from Eastman then heads it towards Pereira Pereira hits it up into the air then yeah didn't really get the contact he wanted to hit a thud of the ball onto the stand again then hits the top of the Woken dugout well, again, a bit of push and shoving here between Jones and Pereira. That didn't really turn into anything, though. Thankfully, and Daish gets on things with a throw. Nice turn there from Walker. Turns over Pereira and Hessenthaler. Walker's ball towards the back post too far in front of Moss, but Michael Dawler uh, applauds the intent from Walker. Nice turn, just couldn't quite get the pass he wanted towards Moss at the back post. Ten minutes gone in the second half and still waiting for the first goal here. At the Lathwaite Community Stadium this evening. A 
again trying to get Walker more involved again that's a really nice turn from Walker just that ball though too far in front of Moss and Justin and the ball towards the right side Rendell gets under control and halfway prayer to Rendell nice little deft pass and Dagenham fight to keep it with Reese on the right hand side and Reese does win the throw off Jones so Rendell will be taking the throw in between the two dugouts on the right Rendell just looking down the line has Ngessin as an option infield goes towards Ngessin Dagenham just in front of halfway Rendell Rendell short to Pereira Pereira back to Ngessin now Ngessin now Dagenham have it in their half with Eastman direct down the right had a well one from Dyche. Akinola turns and hits it forward only as far as I'm guessing now. Guessing caught possession against Andrews. Walker into the feet of Andrews. Walk uh, working on the attack here. Andrews can play towards Beesman. It comes off Callum Bay. And that will be a corner kick to Woken. And Michael Doyle. I think I want to see a card here for the challenge on Walker. That's what Michael Doyle's insinuated, but that's better there, John. Yeah, from Woken. to be fair to the referee, it was good advantage that he played as well. I think he's going to take action. By booking the Dagenham player, I don't know, but that was better from Woking. Most well, certainly. Again, Walker now starting to slowly get into his game, and, and Walker just told to walk away from the referee. I think it will just be a warning here, though. Well, for Eastman, that is a surprise because he he, <laughs> he was late and he clattered him. But as I say, as long as you're consistent, yeah. I mean, he's same for both sides, but. Yeah, to me it was a yellow card. But anyway, it's not to be. And it's a woking corner. See what Gorman can do from this delivery. Yeah, Walker didn't look too pleased that uh, Eastman didn't receive yellow. But yeah, again, the referee is only given one card this evening to Trent Rendell, the Dagenham right back. He's let the game flow pretty well, but just the game hasn't really got going. But now we're starting to get a little bit more action. Last few minutes. Lots of pushing and shoving going on. Yeah, certainly, let's see what delivery Gorman can put in here. A little bit of push and shoving going on in the box. Now Gorman whips it in towards the back post. Headed towards goal and it's cleared away from Dagenham. And Akinola lets it run out for another corner kick. Nice delivery there from Gorman. And the header was one from Dyche. Dagenham just got it away in the nick of time. I think it was Walker who tried to get on the end of it. Can't really see what happened whether he had a header or what but I don't know what the referees now speaking to is it Butiman? I think that is Butiman standing in front of Justin so another corner to be sent in from Wokeham that was dangerous yeah. F and Dice certainly caused pinball in that six yard area so can Gorman put in another dangerous delivery Gorman's corner towards the back post. It's gone through everyone. Did it take a nick off a Dagenham player? There won't be another corner. Woken furious about that, but it's hard to see if it did take a touch of a Dagenham man. So a goal kick in the end, but a little bit more like it from, from Woken. Hopefully they'll slowly build into the second half. Yeah, and you know, good to see that they yeah, they do carry a threat from set pieces. Certainly in you know, Dagenham. I still feel that quality they have up top that they can get going again like they did at the start of the first half which was certainly their best period of the match so goal kick from Justin towards Hill just about halfway takes it on his chest now Vincent hits it off the face and it was a mossy hit and Moss wins that back on the far side for Woken nice feet here from Butman good way inside the Dagenham half Woken on the right Moss looks hit it down line it's come off Vincent now Woken fans are a bit more encouraged from what they're seeing Moss throws it back to Odessina here's Keen Harris Gorman just kind of halfway lifts it up towards Moss head of one from Vincent that will bounce up for another Woken throw you can hear what the crowd make of it you know they're beginning to chant in the KRA trying to get behind this team throw back to Odessina it's great to see again the Woken fans now that's what they want to see more attack intent so an hour played it the late fake community stadium still deadlock yet to be broken Dyche down the left hand side headed away from Eastman now I'm guessing gets his toe on it and came off his own man in the end and Reese. so throw for Woken 
certainly a bit more urgency about working this half as well which is good to see Walker ends the feet of Jones can Jones get a cross in Jones hits it low just beyond the air it's a touch it from Beatsman can Beatsman get a shot off Beatsman shot blocked from Eastman keeps in play Beatsman to Jones Jones lifts it in and Moss just can't get the shot he wanted just scuffed off his left foot in the end and easy for Justin but last couple of minutes John this is better from Woking now it is you know they're taking the game to Dagenham they're getting more bodies forward which is pleasing to see and there's more of a tempo and urgency and intensity about their play got to keep it up though Justin towards the centre circle nice touch from Pereira turns away from Akinola now Pereira inside left oh, dance and feet from Dion Pereira and Pereira tackle from Akinola and sees the corner kick again Pereira another moment in the second half is showing his magic feet Makinola could track him back there to make sure we put the tackle in but Woken do concede the throw uh, yeah. do concede the corner see it's noticeable that Pereira has dropped back more into midfield now so he's picking the ball up in very very dangerous areas whereas really in the first half he was operating primarily down the right now he's more down the middle so corner for Dagenham to take on the left Bit of oh. push and shoving going on there in the box and the referee shows a yellow card I think I think that was towards Marias it was yeah for a plate and shove yeah <laughs> I mean, the woken man that uh, went to the back and I think it was Mossy was shoving yeah went straight in the, to the back of the net the woken be open that this corner doesn't go straight into the back of the net that corner still waiting to be taken it 62 minutes on the clock woken nil Dagenham nil this game finally poised. So, Woken now make sure everyone's set in the corner. Whipped in from the left-hand side towards the back post. Headed across the face of the six-yard box. And Callum by, but no one was there to turn it in. Cleared away from Odessina. Back on halfway with Vincent. Now Vincent. Diagonal ball. Dealt with from Dyche. Chested down into the feet of Gorman by Walker. Gorman far too heavy that pass out towards the left hand side looking for Andrews slight idea but goodness me yes that corner was hot stopping for a moment wasn't it it was a uh, poor oh, Callum Bay got his head on it headed across the face of the six yard box but there was no takers still woken nil Dagnum nil 63 minutes on the clock here throw for Dagnum midway inside their own half for Trent Rendell to take down the line Headed out for another throw to the visitors by Jones. So Rendell has Hessen Tyler just trying to move away from Andrews. Still yet to be a sub made this evening at Lefek Community Stadium, but sooner or later, Ben Strevens and Michael Dahl will be trying to roll the dice. Rendell throws it back to Eastman. Long towards Marais. Edge of the box, Marais can't get it under control. Odessina turns and clears it away to safety throw for Dagenham just behind halfway on the far side more good work from Odessina it wasn't fooled by Marias read the situation beautifully cleared his lines and he's been the pick of the the working players so far but telling it's a defender we're talking about certainly by way Olden equalised against Files so one apiece there and no signs of any subs warming up at the moment. No, both sets of managers look fine for the time being when they got on the pitch and Woken can see the throw. Harris clearing it out of play. So Vincent just waiting to receive it from his own fans. Eventually gets it. Throw for Dagenham. And middle third of Woken's half. Vincent has Hessen Tyler infield to look for but I think he will go towards the box stretch clearance away there from Odessina flick on from Walker Beutemann can't get to it Eastman slams it forwards and that bounces out for a goal kick to Woken just signs of a partnership developing would you say between Beutemann and Walker you know they're beginning to read each other's runs and they're much closer this half this first half they were miles apart really yeah isolated just feel like Walker's a bit more in the game now the second half and again Beautiful played that role really well at Sutton just drifting behind the strike again it was a massive part in Sutton's promotion campaign 2020-21 season 
Goal kick from Jask Leinen. He's been beaten the air there from Callum Bay. And that's a throw for Woken. Yeah, I mean, seems an age ago, but Butiman trialled here for, for Woking under Gary Hill. And, you know, Gary Hill was very keen on him, but, um, it, you know, it just wasn't to be. So Moss, take throw for Woken. Ten yards behind halfway. Moss just surveying his options and goes down the right hand side. Head up into the air from Callum Bay. Another Woken throw. This time a little bit more advanced. Now into the Dagenham half. So Moss, will he go down line to Butiman? Gorman available in field. He goes for Gorman. Gorman gets under control. Back in the Woken half. Nice touch there from Odessina. Timmy Odessina right and halfway. Looks for the run of Walker too far in front of Walker. And Justin just lets that go out for a goal kick to Dagenham. It was a good period, sort of five, ten minutes ago, Woken looked lively, but again, Dagenham are taking the sting out of things, but really it's a, a very even contest here. Yeah, and you, you wonder really, you know, when the game starts to get more stretched, really which team is going to take advantage of that. I do feel that Dagenham, with the likes of Pereira on the, pe on the field, you know, are, are well capable of doing that. Dagenham in possession here with Hessen Tyler. Hessenthaler gets away from Gorman. Hessenthaler in centre circle. Squaring out to Gessen. Now enters the Woken half. And Gessen short to Hill. Hill just took that on the stretch. Not the best of short passes there from Gessen. It's on halfway with Hessenthaler. Sends it back to Callum Bay. Hessenthaler. That's with Justin. Just inside his box. Could chase it from the front from Andrews. Here's Eastman. Nice pass to find Hessenthaler though. Square for Rendell. Rendell. This pass almost cut out from Andrews. Now Woken do have it. Dice to Akinola. Akinola couldn't slip it to one of Beutman and Walker. Went between the pair of them. The end of Justin quickly releases it with his left foot. Finds Hill. Heavy touch from Hill. Still keeps hold of it. The Dagenham number 10. Now Vincent plays it back to Callum Bay. It's a shame Akinola can get that pass right there. Now Justin's ball forwards and it is Moss. And Moss... Does win the throw for Woken. Can certainly Michael Dorby open that Moss and Jones can advance forwards even more as Woken are preparing a substitution. So Dale Gorman. Is that Gorman coming off? No. It, it is. Uh, Dale Gorman is uh, Dale Gorman is coming oh, off okay. yeah. Bit of confusion, I think. Uh, was Dyche was I, running I, yeah, Dyche was running to get a drink, so it is, uh, it is Dale Gorman who's coming off so the score. Yeah the Full officials board was right so Gorman off and Charlie Kendall on so a very attacking substitution there by Michael Doyle so Kendall walking out up top with each other let's see if uh, he can cause some problems as a pair just over 20 minutes of normal time many at Lafayette Community Stadium Woken lose the ball from the throw here's Hills having a shirt clearly pulled there by Moss that's a free kick to the visitors and Hess and Tyler now take the free kick. Be a fan of that substitution, John? Well, it's an attacking one, as you say. Um, you know, just these working a bit shorter in midfield. Let's see if it pays off. And here's Vincent on the ball back to Callum Bay. Can you imagine what will happen is that Butiman will probably drop back. Yep. Here's Eastman. Rendell infield to Prera. Prera turns away from Andrews. Now Prera spreads the play. Lovely pass to Fine Hill. Traps it on his chest. He's facing his own half just the front of the halfway line. Down left to Marais. Midway inside the Woken half. Marais now plays it back to Vincent. In the field to Ngessen. Ngessen. Back into the feet of Vincent. Vincent left footed. Dagenham inside left. Pereira challenged. Nice sharp tackle there on Pereira from Keen Harris. But you know Pereira is beautifully balanced isn't he? When he gets the ball he's technically so good as well. And he's got that little bit of pace and acceleration. He looks a really, really good player. Yeah, most certainly. And Dagenham appealing for the free kick. They just took their throat. And they do get it. Hill turned. And that looked like that did hit the hand of Butiman. Of course, uh, Woken had their own Luton. Uh, a, a, a lone star loan from Luton last season. Jaden Luca. So, see Dagenham got theirs in. Pereira in. So, drop ball from the referee to Essen Tyler. In the end, then plays it back to Eastman in the centre circle. Pereira holds up in the centre. Nice turn there for Pereira against Akinola. Back into the feet of Hessenthal. Now out the centre and to the left. To the feet 
Oh, Vincent, Vincent puts in a low cross. It bounces across the face of the box and Woking get it under control now. It's a long ball forwards from Jones. Can't find Kendall. Header one there from Eastman to Ngessen. Just the front halfway. So 20 minutes to go here. At the Lafayette Community Stadium. Woking nil, Dagenham nil. And Gesson towards the right side. And Dyche on the stretch clears it well. Only as far as Vincent though. Vincent. Now leaves it for Hessen Tyler. Back in the Dagenham half. Time on the ball there for Eastman. Eastman. Now to Rendell. Let's run across him. Rendell looking to get down the right side. Was that push there from Rendell? It certainly was. Ben Strevens unhappy about that. He felt there was nothing really in that. But referee thought there was just about enough and that push from Rendell on Jones so free kick for Woken Kian Harris clips it down left hand side headed away from Eastman only as far as Jones it bounced off Jones out into the feet of Kendall Kendall into the box left hand side Kendall's cross outside of his right foot grabbed from Justin quickly throws it into the feet of Hill Dagham now play it over halfway lovely pass from Hill too far in front on Marais but it was usually it for Hill outside his right foot but maybe just a bit too far in front of Marais in the end cleared away from Harris for Dagenham throw it's taken backwards and Dagenham on the ball here with Marais Marais trying to put the ball forwards intercepted there from Odyssey now Akino on the stretch it's the feet of Andrews poked from Buterman and gives it away now it's Marais in the centre Marais tries to play the ball towards his right side to Pereira cleared away from Dyche nice interception now flick from Walker in the centre circle to Andrews held up here from Charlie Kendall Kendall holds it up just in front of halfway and Dagenham get everyone back and Woken can't form a quick attack there. So Odyssey into Akinola in the centre circle. Played just over halfway from Dice. Woking nil, Dagenham nil. 72 minutes played this evening. Can we find a winning goal? Here's Max Dice on the ball, just behind halfway. Goes a few yards behind him to Kean Harris. Harris spreads the play. A long 25-yard pass. And now head of forward to Moss towards Beatsman. Can't take it on the stretch. So Harry Beatsman. Now Justin. Quick over on throw. Now things are starting to open up here at the Lathwaite Community Stadium. Here's Hill. Just over halfway. Hill towards the centre circle. Good tackle there from Akinola. Now Woking back in possession. Just in front of halfway. Beatsman down the right hand side for Kendall to chase. But easy there for Callum Bay just to turn away from Kendall. Now Kendall still put the pressure down. Paul Callum Bay but stays calm. Now it's back here with Justin who's left side of his area. Just floats over halfway. Dagnum do eventually control it. Moss trying to win the ball back off Reese. Here's Vincent. Short to Hessen Tyler. Collected on the stretch there. From Reese plays in field now to Vincent. Vincent to Hill. Dagenham midway inside the Woken half. Hill goes backwards. Hessenthal is square to Ngessen. Hessenthal on the ball again. Curls it in the centre circle for Eastman. Tom Eastman has time on the ball halfway. Eastman forward pass. Is that too heavy for prayer? It certainly was. Good idea there from Eastman. Just the execution a little bit too powerful towards prayer who's in, who's in a fair bit of space on that right hand side. He controlled that. Would have had licence to run towards the Woken area still Woken nil Dagenham nil so throw here for Jones to take pretty deep inside his own half for the cards throw towards Walker header one from Rendell number Rice can't turn away from his man Odessina to Yaskalani Yaskalani needs to clear does do so bit of a shaky moment there for the goalkeeper managed to get it away flip backwards from Rendell Walker was trying to contest him now. Kind of by square from the centre circle to Vincent. Vincent to Hessen Tyler. Here's Callum Bay in possession again. Callum Bay. Now Vincent down the line. Just over halfway. Good clearance there from Odessina. That will be a throw to Dagenham. And Vincent just standing in front of the division. Dagenham fans trying to urge their team on. So Frank Vincent takes the throw just behind to Ngessen. Here's Vincent, just the front of halfway, moves back into his own half, plays it short to his left to Ngessen. Here's Vincent, who's in infield position, right and halfway, lifts it towards the centre. Cleared away in the volley from Dyche with his right foot. Kendall can't quite meet that ball. Here is Marais, pretty deep here. Now Marais out to Pereira. Pereira up against Dyche. Pereira has the pace to try and get the outside. Dyche good sliding challenge there from Dyche. Had to time that one well. Pereira was approaching the area. Woken can see the corner, but excellent defending there from uh, Daish. Yeah, he did very, very well. In fact, you know, defensively, tonight, Woking have looked pretty solid, I think. They've had the odd one or two scare early on, but, you know, collectively, I think they've done well. But as we said, Odessina is the pick of the bunch. Yeah, most certainly. And quarter now to go. 0-0 Prayer puts in the corner. 
Headed away at the near post. Drops it to Kendall. He's to clear it outside the box now. Takes out the area. Heavy touch from Kendall. Falls it to Pereira. Pereira swings it in. Again, Woking deal with it. There was a bit of push and shoving going on in the box there. And it's a free kick to Woking. I think Ian Harris has done well at the back as well. Actually. Yeah, they, you know, all the, the three centre backs have, have done well. They, they've looked compact, and uh, I think there's a you can sense a, an understanding developing between them all, which is good. And there's plenty of talking going on out there. I suppose the concern really is the wing backs because, yeah. to me, neither are natural wing backs. You know, both are full backs, and that is a problem. Obviously, last season. You know, the manager fetched in Burko and he made a huge difference. Walker he flicks really the free did. kick towards Kendall. It's back here with Justin. Of course, Woking still waiting to score their first goal of the season as well. There's no better time to do it in the remaining minutes we have it. Just under quarter hour to go. Team Woking and Dagenham. Can Woking get the first goal this evening, which could turn out to be the winning one if they can get it. Will Dagenham have other ideas and make it seven points for nine. Justin to Rendell. Down the right-hand side for Pereira to chase, but Dyche gets there first. Dyche holds him off and turns and plays it into the feet of Jones. Now Jones. Being harassed there from Rendell, but Jones does well to win the free kick. So, substitution there. I think uh, Dagenham are making one with Ling to come on the pitch here. So Ling is on. Looks like Vincent's coming off in place of him. Woking also about to make a change. Matt Ward looks to me as though he's going to come on. He's what right-sided, attacking player, winger. Yep. Would you say? Yeah, it was good to see. Yeah, it was good to see him on Saturday against Gateshead. So again, another appearance on board for Matt Ward, who was signed at the weekend. Also, another substitution. So Vincent off and. Uh, Joshua Amer Joshua Amera is on the pitch for Dagenham as well. So free kick from Kean Harris. Headed away there from Callum Bay. Here's Hill. Hill turns a bit too far there for Amera. Now it's back here with Yaskalainen. Yaskalainen. Up towards Moss. Moss wins the flick on. And Walker can't take it on his chest. Defended there from Callum Bay. Callum Bay's clearance blocked there from Beatsman. Falls back to Callum Bay. Callum Bay's pass and Akinola sticking to him well. Uh, sticking to Hill well. And Akinola just touch out of play for a Dagenham throw midway inside the half. So, again, Woken now. Looking to try and <laughs> push up field there. Waiting to make Thank you. their substitution. And finally, Ward can enter the field. Off comes Lewis Walker. So let's see if Walker maybe get his uh, Woking's first goal season, his debut goal. That'd be a fantastic combo if they could get that. But can finally poise this match here at the Lafayette Community Stadium. So you know it's good that Walker's got some minutes behind him. Had next to nothing really to feed off tonight. Yeah, it's been a frustrating one to say the least there. So throw taken and cleared away from Odessina Dagenham fan thought it was a free kick Eastman's header forwards now is Marais plays it down left hand side headed away from Odessina well, can clear it forwards and now Kendall chests it down here comes Ward through the centre Ward uses pace for the middle Ward and Callum Bay puts the tackle breaks it for Kendall and Woking get their first goal of the new campaign Charlie Kendall but Ward caused mayhem with that run through the middle and it broke to Charlie Kendall to smash it into the roof of the net it's Woking 1 Dagenham 0 and just what Woking needed yeah a great burst of pace down the middle from Ward and pace is everything and he used it to great effect got tackled but the ball fell kindly to Kendall and he just smashed it home and hallelujah the cards are scored again this place has lift off what a hit that was in Charlie Kendall's well he, has, he had a one-on-one -on -one against Gateshead early stage on Saturday which he missed but no chance he was missing that one with that came off his right foot powerful shot into the roof and net with 10 minutes to go Woking break the deadlock and get their first goal of this 2024-25 campaign 
Well, what an impact from Ward. He's only been on the pitch, what, a couple of minutes. He suddenly got the ball down the middle, spotted a gap and went absolutely bombing through it. Left a couple of Dagenham players in his wake. And, you know, fantastic to see, really. And it's what Woking needed. And they've been crying out for pace all night, been saying it. And Ward's provided that. And look what happens. Kendall's there to score a goal. And the two substitutions yeah. as, as well paid off from Michael Dahl. So now can Woking hang on to this? Long ball forwards from Dagenham, headed away from Akinola. Now it falls back to Akinola, clears it long towards possible match winner Kendall. Back with some Rendell. Eastman lifts it up towards the left hand side. Was that a foul there? Well, I've seen it from Rice, nothing given. Dagenham fans are happy, pulled down to Josh Amariah. Now here's Hill on the left hand side, keeping it for Dagenham. Hill against Walker, tackle there from Ward and still I think is that Akinolo or Odessina down the floor on the well I'm surprised the ref hasn't stopped the game earlier because I think it was a head injury you can see him I think yeah, it was uh, Joshua and Mariah who was contesting there it was Odessina by the way just to confirm who was down the ground back on his feet now helped up from a uh, Joshua Amariah by the way it was Ling and Amariah off of Vincent Reese just to officially confirm so Reese was the other player who came off along with Vincent for Dagenham a few minutes ago so Dagenham now eight minutes to go in search of an equaliser working on Dagenham Mill Charlie Kendall couple of, couple of minutes ago smashing the ball into the back of net to get Woking's first goal of the new season so long throw comes in punched away from Yaskalainen breaks it to Hill Hill tackle now ball played out to the right hand side, Marais edge of the box. And Marais just in the air. It's a low ball from Pereira. And Woking clear away at the near post. Really good defender. I think it was Daish at the near post just to slide towards the ball and clear it away with his left foot. Corner for Dagenham on the right. Yeah, important the Woking stay strong now. Keep up, no, keep their defensive discipline. So Pereira to send in the corner from the right hand side. Pereira's delivery. And headed away from the goal. Wow. And I think it did come off. A woken man, that corner sent in for Pereira. Goodness me. Every time the ball goes in the box, my heart misses a beat. Looks like Woken have that. I think it's Kian Harris being helped back up by the referee there. So another corner for Dagenham to take. Again, Woken dealt with one just a moment ago. They have to try and do the same again. So corner from the right hand side. And it's a bit of scuff on the line. It's been cleared away there. And by Woken and it is a free kick. Pandemonium in the box, but it was Charlie Kendall got that cleared out of the box. But when that corner came in, it was <laughs> Yaskalainen was fouled by the looks of it. That's why the free kick was given to Woken. For a minute I thought the referee had given it because the ball had crossed the line but uh, whew, looking living dangerously aren't they? I mean, if that had gone in I would set plays. I mean if that had gone I wouldn't be able to tell at all who'd score that one because it was such a scuffle. Then the six yard box. Anyway, the main thing is working still ahead. Yeah, it was six minutes to go. At Lafayette Community Stadium. Other scores by Branch 1, Aldershot 1, EC2, Solio 0, Halifax 1, Gates 1, Mainhead 0, Altrin 1, Oldham 1, Files 1, Southend 2, Boston 0, Tamworth 0, Hartlepool 1, Wilson 0, Sutton 1, Yeovil 3, Absolute 2, it's certainly the most entertaining game of the night, York 1, Rochdale 0 here at the Lafayette Community Stadium, Woken just take a free kick for Yaskline, it's Woken 1, Dagenham 0. So free kick for Yaskline, did Moss win the last touch? He didn't, that will be a throw to Woken. In a little bit more time then to tick down, albeit though we still got. Anyway, at least it isn't like last season where we were looking at 10, 15, 20 minutes maybe being added on. Yeah. Whatever happened to that? It was just quietly scrapped. <laughs> Thank yeah, goodness. Yeah, I completely agree with you there, John. So throw for Moss. And it's headed away for another throw to Woking. So Dagenham bringing on a, another substitution. It's Stevenson, so I think. Dylan Stevenson, formerly Newcastle United. And it's Trent Rendell coming off for Stevenson. Certainly in a 
attacking move there unsurprisingly by Ben Shervins he needs to go for it to try and collect something keep up there and beat and start to the season can Stevenson make it a name for himself this evening off the bench Charlie Kendall certainly has so that's, that's certainly Ward as well massive part he had in that goal yeah what an impact throw for Moss and controlled it by Callum Bay concedes another throw to Woking and this will do nicely for Woking for the time being in the attacking third Moss takes the throw down the right hand side Callum Bay trying to win the ball back will be another throw to Woking it certainly is good work there from Kendall to win that just all about game management now for Woking six minutes of normal time to play it at the Lathwaite Community Stadium Woking 1 Dagenham and Redbridge nil. throw a level of the penalty error taken from Moss now is Ward holding the ball up by the corner flag he's won the corner kick and I'll tell you what this is a brilliant substitute performance and Matt Ward and Marseille yeah what a start again wins the corner yeah. Woking not in any hurry to take it as you can imagine yeah, certainly unsurprising again Andrews ambling over I think it's fair to say yeah Andrews taking this time finally puts it in the corner quadrant and again Woken aren't over, over committing again the back three haven't come up so it'll be short, will it be a short corner here from Andrews it certainly looks like it Andrews starts to take it and now Woken looking to get into the box here and they win another corner well done there from Harry Buterman and again exactly what Michael Dole want from his team just keep up the right end of the pitch yeah it was clever play there from working I have to say my heart's always in my mouth when working try and do a short corner <laughs> I've got so many bad memories of them going wrong over the years so corner taken short to Beatman and Beatman wins a throw this time you have to say they're going well at the moment aren't they certainly are this is Gone in Woking's favour, I think. Yeah, I think yep. Woking have won the throw yet. Yeah. It's a bit of confusion for a second. So Woking keeping the ball nicely over in Dagenham's half. Over on that far side. Yep, Dan Moss to take a throw here. Moss's throw. Ward into the feet of Moss. Moss fighting to keep it. Goes down to the ground. Moss, no free kick given his favour. Ball hits the corner flag. And finally Dagenham gets the decision oh, in their favour and then he's walking up the pitch and the linesman isn't doing anything to stop him but is now thank goodness two minutes to go Callum Bay deep inside his own half takes the throw cleared falls on the stretch there Peterman headed towards Kendall cleared away on the bounce from Eastman and that will be throw to Dagenham there so Dagenham have got to try and throw everything at this now so two minutes to go and what maybe four minutes added time would you say yeah I'd probably say something on the lines of that so throw taken is that a foul there on the far side Harris nothing given it looked to me like he <laughs> took him out but there yeah. we go we're not there the referee is so Horry Hill came off for Remy so Shiloh Remy on for Dagenham so a long throw to come into the box here on the visitors take from the left hand side head into the centre then cleared away on the turn from Kendall now Dagenham looking to preserve the ball here Pereira is that a foul there that has been given and Pereira wins that free kick really well Ward trying to nip it off him yeah I think it was Ward as you rightly say just a bit over enthusiastic yeah. really you know you don't want to give away cheap free kicks like that because it just gives Dagenham an opportunity to load the ball back into the box didn't need to dive in he just needed to hassle him and hustle him he wasn't going anywhere yeah, stoppage time is upon us at Layford Community Stadium it's working one Dagenham nil Dagenham with a free kick put him from Pereira and that's headed away and sigh of relief from the Woking fans there's a free kick giving him Woking's very little push on Odessina it's getting closer and closer but now we now wait the exact amount of stoppage time yeah the fourth official seems to be having trouble with the board I can see it <laughs> flashing on and off hasn't been shown yet well, here it goes is he going to show it and it's four minutes four minutes so. yeah, on the money there John with the prediction well that's how it's reverted back hasn't it it always used to be yeah. four minutes 
maybe one or two in the first half and then we had that crazy spell yeah. where it was 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes yeah. look back and think what was that all about which is madness well there was that crazy game against uh, gateshead i think here where yeah. about 17 minutes yeah, was the, added on yeah. the one home last season oh. and it's a long ball forwards towards the right side too high for mosto so 35 seconds into the four minutes of stoppage time can woken hold out get their first point of the season throw for Ling to take it down the left hand side Shiloh Romy trying to turn away from his opposite number Akinola is that a foul there from Akinola don't think so it's been given has it been given as a throw here for Dagenham or Woken preparing to bring on Anderson here it looks like it'll be a throw to Dagenham so Woken making a substitution Buterman it is who's going off so Buterman's put a good shift this evening Harry Buterman probably the most dangerous player first half Woken but yeah again I think someone in the Woken fans will really take to get a nice round of applause unsurprisingly taking this time obviously Woken and the lead no there was no real rush to come off here but now he's slowly up in the pace Harry Buterman coming across towards Jermaine Anderson who will be coming on this place but as the referee will be totaling the amount of time that Buterman takes to come off Anderson now on Okay, just those fresh legs in the field to help fight for Woken to get these vital three points over line to get their season up and running. So Dagenham a throw. St. from Link midway inside the Woken half. Flick on in towards Shiloh Remy. Ball bounce in the box and a shot over the bar. Good chance there for Dagenham. I think Eastman leaning back as he took that one on with his right foot. Yeah, it was a great opportunity and he really muffed his lines. Goodness me. Lent did all the things you shouldn't do. Lent back. Got it all wrong. And uh, Eskalainen, not in any great hurry. Yeah, That's it, doing the right thing. Taking the <laughs> I never, never have worked out why goalkeepers are allowed to, if you like, not take the goal kick where the ball yeah. goes out. I mean, that always used to be the law, but it's changed now. So you can waste time. Yeah, that chance in the box certainly fell maybe to the wrong man for perspective and Yaskalainen with the goal kick too high there for Ward and Moss so Link quickly receives the ball from a Dagenham supporter needs to get a move on it approaching now the last minute of stoppage time Ling long throw down left flicked on from Remy and Woking will just see this one out for goal kick so one more minute of stoppage time left not over yet but Woking are getting closer and closer I just felt as Woken just stayed in the game they would get that chance and Kendall took it yeah it's what we said really that you know first half Woking was so defensive but you know they got to half time level and second half you know they've got some attacking options on the bench and it's paid off yes Klein's goal kick and that looked like it was flipped backwards there for Callum Bite certainly was again Woking will take their time with this throw just a nice full moon as well on the far side it's been a lovely evening in terms of conditions here the pitch is in pristine condition as well at the Lafayette Community Stadium so Woken have a throw take it down the right side towards Kendall Kendall can't get under control so Dagenham have to get his forwards as quickly as possible now the four minutes are up Link throws it down the left hand side so one last chance made for Dagenham clip it just over halfway Cleared away on the bounce from Akinola. Kendall wins the aerial duel, but it falls here to Ling. Ling lifts it down the right hand side. Head of one from Odessina. Kendall can't get it under control. Play back there, backwards there from Callum Bight. Long from Justin. The Woking fans are very anxious. Kian Harris has it down. And now it's in the centre circle of Callum Bight. Hessenthaler. Hessenthaler turns long towards the box. Breaks in the centre from Gessen on the loose ball's been cleared away from Deich up towards Kendall and now Kendall's on his own Kendall down the right hand side towards the box can he wrap this one up Charlie Kendall Kendall just holds up can't get a shot away and now just safely go towards the corner flag holds up Charlie Kendall as he won the free kick falls to the ground nothing given time still going on now five minutes played so throw back from Lings there one last chance for Dagenham throw back to Justin the referee blows his whistle and Woking get their first points on board of this season 
a hard fought 1 0 victory over Dagger and Redbridge. It's the first defeat of this campaign for the Daggers. The winning goal come from Charlie Kendall, combination of two substitutes with Matt Ward bursting down the centre from the loose ball and it broke to Kendall in the box to smash it into the roof of net. John, huge relief here that Lafayette Community Stadium. Obviously only three games into the season, but just want to get those points on board as quickly as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Really important that Woking got a win, particularly at home. Builds confidence and certainly the way they started the game very very slowly you feared the worst but the main thing was that you know they kept it tight they managed to go in level at half time and in the second half I thought they improved a lot they moved the ball quicker they showed more attacking in front and of course they had that moment of magic from Matt Ward who came on and turned the game really and you know on balance you have to say Woking just about shaded it and that's certainly not real half fought win this evening and the defence was fantastic as well particularly yeah, I thought the defence did really, really well. All three centre-backs were really strong and disciplined and kept their shape. Almost certainly. So, Woking get their first win of this brand new campaign. 1-0 victory over Dagen Rebic. Charlie Kendall with the winning goal. So, it's now Evsley away on Saturday for Michael Dorsides. They're off the mark this season. As for Dagenham, still a solid start from them. Disappointing defeat for them, but obviously they will move on quickly for their game at the weekend and just updating the latest scores and Ashley before we leave you guys so it's Barnet 1 Forest Green 0 Braintree 2 Old Shop 1 Eastley 2 Solihull Moors 1 full time to Halifax and Gator that ended 1-1 one, one. made a 0 Auction 1 Oldham 1 Far 1 South then beat Boston by 2 goals 0 Tamworth 0 Hartlepool 1 Wilson 0 Sutton 1 Yeovil 3 Edgley 2 York 1 Rochester 0 and full time here at the Lafayette Community Stadium it's finished here Woking 1 Daniel Redbridge 0